the stage wise management of ovarian cancer ovarian cancer is in different stages and we need to understand not only the stages but also what we have to do at different stages okay so first of all uh, let us understand what happens in stage 1 stage 1 is uh, the one in which the tumor is basically confined to the ovary or ovaries or fallopian tube okay so um, the tumor doesn't go beyond the ovaries in stage 1 it is only confined to the ovaries sometime yes it can go to the fallopian tubes okay so uh, we can further divide the stages of ovarian cancer uh, stage 1 into stage 1a and 1b Okay, in one A, basically only one ovary or fallopian tube is affected by the tumor. The tumor capsule is intact, and no tumor is detected on the surface of the ovary or fallopian tube. And malignant cells are not detected in ascites or peritoneal washes. Okay, so remember this thing: only one ovary is affected in one A. and how would you manage a stage 1 ovarian cancer that depends upon the fertility intention of the woman okay because if she says that i need fertility i want more children in the future then uh, in that case we just have to remove one ovary along with the fallopian tubes okay unilateral sulpingo ophorectomy is done along with the peritoneal biopsies we take some biopsies from the peritoneum as well while managing this case and also the lymph node dissection so remember these things unilateral sulpingo ophorectomy peritoneal biopsies lymph node dissection in the woman who wants fertility now there is another group of women who say that my family is complete so what we have to do in that case okay we don't have we don't have to conserve the other ovary we just have to do the primary debulking with a residual disease of less than 1 cm okay we do primary debulking and we uh, leave the disease of less than 1 cm and we uh, give adjuvant chemo in the grade 3 Now coming to the stage one B, okay? In one A, only one uh, ovary or fallopian tube is involved. In one B, both ovaries or fallopian tubes are affected by the tumor, but the tumor capsule is intact. Okay, tumor is not detected on the surface of the ovaries or fallopian tube. It is inside the capsule. Malignant cells are not detected in ascites or peritoneal washing. Okay, the management is primary debulking plus adjuvant chemo in grade three. Coming to the stage one C. One C is a very important stage. You need to remember that because it is at this stage that the capsule rupture takes place. Okay, so either the tumor is confined to one or both ovaries or fallopian tube, but we have these features. Okay, so further we divide stage one C into one C one, one C two, one C three. In one C one, we have surgical spill of the tumor. Okay, the tumor is spread surgically. Okay, when we open the abdomen of a patient, we find out that uh, there are small particles of ovarian tumor spread across the abdomen. Okay, so that is stage one C one. Okay, uh, but the thing is that capsule is intact in one C one. Okay, in one C two, what happens that the ovary capsule is ruptured before surgery. So in one C one, what happens that although the capsule is intact, but when we are operating the patient at that time, there is surgical spill. In one C two. the capsule has been ruptured before the surgery so remember these differences because uh, exam questions come related to these stages 
and as a gynecologist you should know in your practical life as well like what stage of ovarian cancer is this before labeling the patient okay in 1c3 the tumor is detected on the ovary or fallopian tube surface okay see so 1c3 the tumor is detected in the ovary or fallopian tube surface malignant cells are detected in ascites or peritoneal washing okay how would you manage a case of 1c in 1c we would manage by primary debulking plus adjuvant chemotherapy okay now what involves the adjuvant chemotherapy adjuvant chemotherapy basically involves the six doses of carboplatin these are used for adjuvant chemotherapy the second line drug would that be paclitaxel okay so uh, six doses of carboplatin and second like drug drug second line drug the paclitaxel okay what is the side effects of the paclitaxel that is bone marrow depression what happens in stage 2 stage 2 in stage 2 the tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tube with a pelvic extension below the brim or primary peritoneal cancer okay so below the brim um one or both ovaries are involved but along with that we have the pelvic extension as well but remember this point that in stage 2 only the area below the pelvic brim is involved means we are not going up above the pelvic brim here how would you manage it we manage it with it with the primary debulking plus adjuvant chemo or new adjuvant chemotherapy with uh, interval debulking such in stage 2a the tumor has extended or implanted into the uterus and or fallopian tube and or ovary so we need to remember uto uto means uterus tubes ovaries are involved in stage 2a okay and in stage 2b the tumor has extended to another organ in the pelvis or pelvic intraperitoneal tissue and we manage it by wartheim hysterectomy in stage 3 the tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tube or primary peritoneal cancer with a confirmed cytological or histological spread to the peritoneal surface involving both pelvic and abdominal peritoneum and or metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes okay so we need to remember that in stage 3 is above pelvic brim stage 2 was below pelvic brim stage 3 is above pelvic brim stage 3 involves uh, the tumor uh, to one or both ovaries of fallopian tube or peritoneal cancer with a confirmed spread to the peritoneum also uh, outside the pelvis and or metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes we do primary debulking plus adjuvant chemotherapy or new adjuvant chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery okay in 3a the positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes are there only cytologically um, cytologically or histologically proven case metastasis up to 1 cm greatest dimension or we have metastasis this is up to more than 1 cm greatest dimension in 3a2 microscopic extra peritoneal involvements with or without positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes are there okay in 3b microscopic peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm in dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes are there what happens in stage 3 we have microscopic peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm meter in gradient dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes that include extension of the tumor to the capsule of the liver and spleen without parenchymal involvement of either organs management is by neoadjuvant chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery in 3c ovarian caps ovarian cancer root of uh, chemotherapy is paclitaxel and carboplatin iv most common side effect of chemotherapy is alopecia in stage 4 we have distant metastasis beyond the peritoneal cavity including parenchymal liver splenic metastasis and extra abdominal metastasis how would you manage distant metastasis including peritoneum is managed by neoadjuvant chemotherapy with interval debulking surgery okay pleural effusion with positive cytology is in stage 4a in stage 4b we have parenchymal metastasis and metastasis to extra abdominal organ including inguinal lymph nodes and lymph nodes outside the abdominal cavity okay and that is uh, basically 
the summary of management of ovarian cancer. You can take a screenshot of it and memorize it for your exam. Okay, thank you so much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let us discuss the stage-wise.